In today's video, I'm going to go over how to best utilize price books in the mobile application. So starting from your Pulse dashboard, if you look at the very bottom of your screen, we're going to go ahead and click into full menu. From full menu, you will select the sales dropdown. From the sales dropdown, you will then select price books. From here, you will be given a list of all of the price books that you have already created. From here, you can easily select the price books you are looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and select the Comfort Maker HVAC systems. So from here, you will be given a list of the flat rate jobs that you've created. I'm gonna go ahead and select the two ton gas furnace system. And then you'll be able to show your customer which options they have. After your customer goes through and selects the one that best suits their needs, you can easily have them click into the price tag in the center, so $6,769.10. I'm going to go ahead and click that. From here, if you have any add-on options, they can easily select what they'd like. Maybe they'd like to include the Nest Learning Thermostat as well. You'll notice at the bottom that brings the total to $7,122.10. I'm going to go ahead and select Next. From here, you can then add it to the invoice or estimate and convert that into the invoice in just a few clicks. So here, you'll notice the line items that make up all of that. If you need to drag and drop, all you have to do is select and drag and drop. If all looks well, you can complete this by including customer name, invoice title, if you'd like to relate it to a job, invoice date, you can include a reference or a note, and then all you have to do is hit save and send. If you have any questions on how to manage your price book in field polls, Please don't hesitate to reach out to us, support at fieldpulse.com. Thanks so much.